five Indiana points in this second quarter. Now 37 years old, he's gone 140 playoff games without an NBA title. He says, should the Pacers win, he'll hang it up this year, even though he has a year left on his contract. And this is a veteran Pacer team. The clock is ticking on their chances of winning a title. There you see the seasons they have gone without winning an NBA championship. And Sam Perkins grew up in Brooklyn before exploding on the national scene. There's another Brooklyn guy, Mark Jackson, and Chris Mullen, both of those St. John's guys. The, the New York connection very strong here for the Indiana Pacers. You sound like you want to be a Brooklyn guy. It's very nice that my mom's from there. <laughs> Derek McKee misses. Thomas gathers the rebound. New York with the ball, trailing by 11. Despite shooting only 30% and being out-rebounded 15 to 10, they've allowed Indiana to hit 55% of their shots. Now they have a chance here in this quarter, particularly with Sam Perkins being the only scorer, and they have the penalty situation in their favor. If they drive the ball, move people, they're going to get back into the game offensively, and Kirk Thomas right now is playing with the best poison control he's played in any of the playoff games we've done so far. Why are they double-teaming Larry Johnson down low? Offensive foul, Antonio Davis just windmilling Kurt Thomas to the ground. Kurt Thomas. But when you have ball movement, player movement, you're going to get shots that are easier for a player uh, like Kurt Thomas uh, to, to score on. And you can see when you move the ball, the defense will react. That means somebody's going to be open. But Steve, at the championship level, you've got to be able to guard guys one-on-one, -on -one, like Derek McKee is doing right here. And doesn't matter, Larry Johnson, despite some good defense from McKee and others, pulls the Knicks within seven. So Larry Bird is only going to stay with this unit maybe another possession or two if they don't start scoring the ball. Antonio Davis with a miss. Indiana suddenly goes cold, and New York trying to bounce back into it. Isolates pretty well. Let him drive to that hoop. Well, they want to run a pick and roll. They want to get some movement before he tries to get inside. They get a hold. That's going to get pretty well back at the line. The crowd's starting to come down on the officials, and Reggie Miller going to come back in the game. Larry Johnson trying to back down Derek McKee. This is good, solid defense. You're going to give up some points, but it's the double teams that kill you. He's looking for the foul right here. And he looks over at the officials and says, hey, that's a foul. And the Nick contingent behind Van Gundy and the Nick bench, they are up in arms over there, led by Spike Lee. Freewell hits the first free throw as Reggie Miller returns and Fred Hoiberg goes to the bench. Now, Antonio Davis comes out of the game. Dale Davis comes in and uh, Van Gundy looks up at the scoreboard, claps his hand and says, you know, guy, we're back in this thing. 28 to 14 that was the score at the end of the first quarter and only five points all coming from Sam Perkins to be well with two They're back now within five and Van Gundy says one of the things the best thing they've done this series is to be able to hang around Twice they find a way to, to win the game including Larry Johnson's miracle four-point play Pacers are not playing with that quickness huh? There's a good Good multiple player exchange there. First time in a long time. Remember Chris Mullen telling us yesterday about the isolation game tends to take Indiana out of their rhythm. Jalen Rose hit Dale Davis for that basket, and then a New York foul. <laughs> Larry Johnson is his third personal foul trying to clear out some room. But again, when you move ball, move people, bad things happen for the defense. They've got to react to anybody coming to the hoop. That's how Dale Davis gets that bucket. How about the touch pass by Jalen, though? Larry Johnson, a foolish foul, just pushing people out of the way as if the, he thinks the referees aren't even looking. There's three of them. How could they miss that? Jalen Rose sits down as Mark Davis comes back to the point for Indiana, and Allen Houston is back in as Larry Johnson sits with three fouls. But uh, the Indiana Pacers have lost that big emotional edge that they had, and Houston's got a tough job against the team, and he's not going to be able to take this ball by Ronnie Nunn. Third foul on Allen Houston. So you got LJ with three. You've got Allen Houston with three. These are two of your top three offensive weapons, Derek McKee. And a, a, little a, push, tough, tough, a little push tough, in the back. Tough. You know, once he turned them loose, 
should have been no call. This is the playoffs, please. Allen Houston has had several tough calls tonight. Timeout. 